In this short video, I want to explain uh, the 23i features monitoring, analyzing, and diagnosing SQL statements. Um, the optimizer, the new optimizer features, or some of the new optimizer features in 23i. As you know, Oracle Database 23i, uh, of course, provides many features. Um, this time, we will focus only uh, concerning SQL analysis and diagnostics features. So the whole video um, is um, divided in three parts. SQL analysis reports here for identifying problematic queries in production. SQL diagnostic reports, uh, a very nice HTML report to get uh, co very comprehensive information about uh, the diagnosing features uh, in SQL. Uh, in the SQL statement. And uh, SQL history is uh, about history function you may enable so that you get the SQL history in your current session. Let's start with SQL analysis. Uh, it's very easy to use. If you use DBMS X plan to identify or to get an output of your execution plan, you will get it automatically. What is it? It's at the end, scroll at the end of the SQL, um, SQL output, execution output, and you will find a SQL analysis report section. This example shows a very, very simple one. What did I do a select star from employees and used upper first name like ST percent. It cannot use an index as you see in the execution plan. Uh, why? Yeah, because I use upper first e name, uh, upper first name. There's no function based index. How can I use, uh, can it use an index here? Uh, the second part is SQL monitor active report and you can also use it there. But first again, let's have a, a more uh, complex example here to see what the DBMS X plan uh, information uh, gets gives you as an output. Uh, we um, uh, we use the, the statement and then we execute the statement and then we use DBMS X plan, the table function display cursor. Um, we skip some sections here. And uh, as you can see the predicate information, uh, there is something like a two number for prod code. Obviously we need a, a type con conversion here. Um, and uh, in the table SQL analysis report at the end, you see all the um, enhancement information it will give you. One is union instead of union, use union all. Um, one of um, yeah the, the, the two indexes uh, it cannot use in prod category because of the lower and in prod code because we have a type conversion. And at the end, um, we have even a Cartesian product, product uh, what, we, um, what we use here in this query. So how does a SQL analysis report look like? An active report, my favorite one actually. Um, you may use the hint monitor as we use here to make sure that it's really monitored. We can generate a SQL ID. We set feedback on SQL ID and SQL plus, for example. And then we use, for example, the SQL monitor report SQL monitor. Please make sure that the um, that the format the long and long chunk size is big enough so that the whole HTML uh, uh, code is uh, covered. Um, then you will get the active SQL report. Actually, this is my favorite um, report. Therefore, I wrote a FAQ you can find in this blog post. So every feature you uh, you may use or you can use uh, concerning SQL active report is covered there. So how does, does this report look like? As you can see, similar to the report before, a little bit nicer, of course, here, the SQL analysis section, um, meaning I, I clicked on SQL analysis. It's an interactive because it's an active report. You can click on all these um, menu, um, menu things here, like planned statistics, SQL text, and so on. And in the SQL analysis, you, you find the three information we saw before. Uh, in addition, for example, you, you may see here there's something about hints that's available since 19C. If you, if you mistyped a, um, um, a hint, for example, it will tell you this. So it gives you information why it does not use the, the hint in this, uh, uh, in this execution. 
So what about the second feature, SQL Diagnostic Report? Uh, it's a new function from DBM SQL Diag. You only need the SQL ID, like in the example here, and then, of course, the formatting, and then you use um, a print the, the clop. Here I put it in, in uh, my uh, report here, uh, and uh, you will get a very nice HTML report. Um, you can use also a, a directory, but the default is clop. Uh, so you may even store it out out of uh, out of the database. Of course, level are basic, typical, and all, and I used here the default uh, typical. So this is only an excerpt of the whole diagnostic report. Um, as you can see here in, in the top session, you have links to SQL text, SQL history, um, uh, the parameters, non-default parameters, other observations, uh, information about the statistics. You may scroll down and get uh, all the information, or you may click on, on the uh, provided links here in the, uh, on the top of the report. So at last, we will cover the SQL history in 23i. <clears throat> what it is it? Of course, SQL history can be used in all um, SQL tools, uh, but this is different here. Uh, you also get the execution statistics, meaning it's a new V$ SQL history. Um, um, uh, for dollar view, you can see then all your SQL you executed uh, in your session. <clears throat> Interesting is um, that's not only the SQL, the SQL text, it's also um, all the execution statistics. And it's only uh, your SQL. It's not a turtle, it's not recursive statements, um, and even statements uh, which have uh, errors. So you need to enable it, or your DBA need to enable it, someone with alter system privileges, as we do here in our small example, alter session, we go to into the, the PDB, we change the SQL history enable to true, the default is false. Then we connect to any session, we execute some queries, and then we get a SQL text, for example, in error numbers. The one with SQL XXX from Dual is of course wrong, and we get the error code. Or in another session, I had a, a SQL workload, and the output is uh, something like this. I, I also uh, showed the elapsed time, the CPU time, buffer gets, so I can get the, the one with the most buffer gets and so on. Yeah, uh, if you want to get more information, here's a blog post about this with all the information about SQL history. And this is uh, this is all the sessions here, or all the topics in the session here. Uh, what did we cover? SQL analysis report. You get it out of the box with DBMS X plan, or with my favorite active uh, uh, real-time monitoring report. There is a very new uh, comprehensive uh, function in uh, DBMS SQL Diag to get comprehensive information um, all around your executed uh, SQL statement. And if you want, you can have a SQL history. You can ask for to enable it and can use it in your session. That's all for this session. If you want to get more videos, here's the 23i playlist uh, on Oratech. You may use uh, the scripts can be found in GitHub and uh, the blogs in blogs or Cortec. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.